So guys, it's me. Um, something wonderful just happened. Oh, I got a new cage, by the way. Yo, it's a little dirty here. I thought you were called this dirty, but I think it's dirty. Look at this. I mean, that looks neat, but that. I need to sort out. Um, so that's a new cage. As you can see, the worms, um, Jock and Jock and I can't remember. Jock and Joy, Jock and Joy. I'm not in here anymore. There's Joy's. Well, I think it's Joy's. There's Joy's. Oh, it is. I'm not sure who that was. Um, but look, they had Jock or Joy's skin. And then look there. Let's so figure out how to open that. Look over there. Oh yeah, I moved them into this thing. Yeah, it's... They are puppies now. Now puppies is like a cocoon. And then this... I'm putting that one's eggs in. That one and that one's eggs in. Yeah. So, I'll show you guys how the moth cross butterfly will look like. It looks like a moth, but it just, but if it's around, flies around in the daytime, it's like moth and butterfly mixed. Yeah, so, yeah. So, stay tuned till that. And then I'll make a video because after our boat trip, we're gonna weigh our snakes to see if the perfect way to start breeding. I think maybe we're gonna start breeding this year with them. I know power feeding shortens a snake's lifespan, but once a month won't hurt. Will it? No, yes it will, probably. Um, so... Yeah, I'm gonna start breeding my snakes maybe this year if the boomerang is the right weight. I can't wait, I can't really wait, guys. My phone is disgusting. It is full of dirt. It is literally full of dirt. <laughs> My phone full of dirt. Now stay tuned.